What is up PMP? Zell here and today I have an OU match. This one is against Poke MMD or Joey. I was actually on uh, the Smoke on PO server, just got to rank 3 on NU ladder and he uh, sent me a message and he's like, you want a battle? And I'm like, okay. Uh, so we decided to do OU and uh, here's the Team preview, as you can see, we both have Skarmories. We're both going to lead with Skarmories. We're both thinking uh, we can get up Hazards. I thought he'd lead with his Tarantar, maybe. Um, and I really didn't have all that much. I thought about Terrakion, possibly, but in the end, Skarmory is a little better, just because even though I'm Choice Banded, I, I still can really not Oko uh, a Skarmory barely to it KO, depending on how things work out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go for Spikes. He's going to go for Spikes. We're just both happy to go for spikes. Uh, I go for my second layer here as he's going to go for the whirlwind just to blow me out because uh, basically half my team can't really do too much to Skarmory but if I get like uh, Latios or Shaman I'd be really well off but I get Jellicent which is probably the worst thing because can't even like two it KO. Um, like Tracheon would have been decent or also Dugtrio would have been pretty bad because Dugtrio really can't do anything to Skarmory. But I'm going to go with the Scald. Um, I don't really want to switch again. I guess I could have back to Skarmory and just continue setting up spikes since Skarmory can't do anything to Skarmory. And then we would have gotten even spikes in the end when he goes to switch out. We would have both had three layers. So, eh. But I figure just try and get a burn on him. It'll cripple him and uh, it'll make him a lot less um, able to survive just in general. But um, yeah, so he gets his full spikes up. He's going to go for the roost here obviously because he doesn't want to be risking too much on the HP, but, um, yeah, unfortunately my Scald is just not burning, and I'm really kind of annoyed that it isn't. I mean, it's 30% chance, and that's three Scalds there, and no burn, and, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of, uh, a little ticked off. He's gonna go for the Whirlwind here. I don't know why he didn't just go out to Gastrodon. Like, I mean, that could have taken a Storm Drain boost, and, uh, I guess can't really do too much to Jellicent. Because, uh, you know, special defensive wall and stuff like that. But he blows me out to Latios, which is I would have loved last time. And uh, here I'm going to predict him to switch into his Tyranitar, which is kind of annoying to me. Um, I mean, I have Dectrio and Tyrakion, so it's not a big deal. But let's go into his Gastrodon instead. And I'm going to lay a trick off on him, which um, is a little bit bad. Because you're going to see here, I'm going to go for the Draco Meteor. And with a Specs, I think that might have taken him out. Because this is going to do... Right around like 60-ish percent, well maybe not, I don't know, that's like 55, it, it would have been close. But, um, so he locks himself into Toxic, which is uh, really not a whole big deal. But uh, I figured now that I'm at minus 2 and I don't have any attack boost item, I have leftovers, he's going to switch to his uh, Tyranitar. So I'm going to go to my Terrakion, but he's actually going to stay in and go for the Toxic again, which is a little odd, I guess he just wanted to let it die, because it's, you know, it's Specs and there's really not a whole lot that uh, he can do with a spec Gastrodon. But here, uh, I wanted to go for the Excessor, but I figure Tangrowth will likely switch in, and that takes more from close combat, so I go for it. But then he goes into his Reuniclus, which is uh, also max HP, max defense. Um, well, again, I'm assuming Tangrowth is, but it probably is. So, um, yeah, that kind of kind of sucks that um, you know I didn't do too much. But, I mean, Excessor wouldn't have done that much more it would have been like maybe a two-hit KO but meh um so he's gonna go for the psychic I'm gonna switch to my Skarmory just because I don't take hazards like Delson's special wall but takes hazards so uh Skarmory's a little bit of a better option um at this point I'm thinking okay I don't want him to start setting up Calm Mind so I'm gonna go for the Whirlwind as he's gonna switch into a Skarmory knowing that if I roost uh, or Spikes, he can get off a Braver guaranteed because I can't kill him. Or not a Brave Bird, he can get off a Roost before I can kill him with Brave Bird or blow him out with Whirlwind. Uh, but, you know, that doesn't happen because I get he gets blown out as he switches in. And he goes into his uh, Tangrowth. I don't want to be put to sleep, so I'm going to switch out to my Latios. Again, for the similar reason why I went to Skarmory in the first place, because I don't take Hazard's damage. And I can't be put to sleep because I'm toxic. And he does go for the Sleep Powder, so that doesn't do anything, which is great. Here, I'm uh, I'm a little in a dilemma, but I figure nothing can really take a Draco Meteor that well, I suppose. It's, eh, I mean, I guess Reuniclus, yeah, but 
Uh, it's not a big deal. So I'm just going to go for it. He's going to switch into his Gastron to fodder it out in case maybe I went for the uh, HP Fire, Surf, Thunderbolt, any of those common moves that Latios has. Don't really do too much to uh, a Gastron, but I go for Drago Meter and it just takes him out very easily. So, um, yeah, there's First Blood. Um, at this point, he is going to go into, I believe, his Tyranitar to set up the Sand. Um, I'm not worried about the Pursuit yet, but I know I have to switch out because I have, like, minus two special attack and leftovers. So I really need to get out because I can't really touch Tyranitar at all because I don't have Surf. I have Thunderbolt instead. So I'm going to go to my Skarmory as he's going to go set up the Stealth Rock, which is, uh, not a big deal. And, um, yeah, because I didn't really want him to go for the Crunch and switch into my Jellicent, but I also didn't want to go for the Fire Blast, but he goes for the Rock Slide, so I don't think he has it, and that's really not going to do too much. I probably should have went for the Spikes here, but I was worried about Skarmory coming back in again, so I Whirlwind him out, and uh, he gets sent into his Terrakion, and uh, yeah, I'm worried about the Close Combat. I don't want to be too hit KO'd, so I'm going to go for the Roost here, just in case he wants to go, for, go ahead and attack me. Uh, I thought about Brave Bird, but I'm like, I'm probably going to kill myself if he does Close Combat, and I do a ton of damage because of the defense drop, I'm probably going to, you know, die. So I go for the Roost, but he does switch back to his Skarmory, which uh, is a little unfortunate. I did think about Whirlwinding, just, I'm like, maybe he's not banded. But, um, yeah, so now he's in his Skarmory. I know he's going to Roost. I'm hoping he's low enough to where the leftovers won't give him Sturdy again. Unfortunately, he's not. He's actually right below 50%, so when he Roosts, he's going to be at, like, what, 98% or something? Something really close. And uh, lefties are going to put him back up to sturdy. So I can't Oko him here, but I can go for the Thunderbolt, and that is going to do tons of damage because uh, the Skarmory is not especially defensive, and that's super effective, and Latios is very, very strong. So go for that Thunderbolt. Uh, it's going to bring him down to his sturdy, of course. And he's just going to go for the Roost. Um, not sure why, but it's a little odd. Uh, I guess, well, Brave Bird would be weird, and Whirlwind, he could potentially blow me to something that could easily kill him, like almost anything, except maybe Skarmory. I don't think a Brave Bird would do 6.25% uh, after leftovers to another Skarmory. But, um, yeah, and there's no point in Spike. So I guess, I mean, it's his best option, other than, like, straight switching out. Um, I thought about going for the Draco Meteor here, but it actually wouldn't kill, even if he has no special defense, which is a little annoying. So I'm going to go for the Thunderbolt again. He predicted me to switch out to my Dugtrio in case I he went out to his uh, Tyranitar, but I'm not that worried about Tyranitar, to be completely honest. But, um, yeah, he's going to go into his Tyranitar here, and uh, I know the Pursuit Trap is pretty obvious. I mean, if he has Rock Slide, he probably has Pursuit. So uh, I'm just going to stay and go for the Draco Meteor, trying to do as much damage as I possibly can. And uh, that's going to do a nice chunk, considering, you know, I'm leftovers again, as I said, like three times already. But he is going to definitely pursue me, and uh, I believe I'm going to live that for Diatotoxic. No, I do just, just flat up die, never mind. And uh, yeah, so down goes my Latios. I'm going to go into Trachyon. I probably could have went into Dugtrio, but eh, I kind of wanted to give him the illusion that... I was going to just spam close combat, and that he'd switch into Reuniclus, and then I could twit KO with x -Scissor, but he's just going to leave it in his fodder, which is a good play, but, you know, as I said, I was hoping he'd switch out to Reuniclus to take the close combat, which is why, again, I went to this, not the trio. Uh, but he is going to go into his Reuniclus here. I figure I can't switch out because I'll just die to hazards again, and I'm going to x -Scissor, as I said earlier. This is going to do, like, I don't know, like 60%-ish, uh, and he's going to recover it most back up and then leftovers is going to put him just under where he was um which is a little unfortunate here i'm literally like please do not crit i don't want to crit because this match is going pretty well um and i'm having a lot of fun and a crit would kind of just ruin it and i don't get the crit so i'm kind of happy uh, a lot of players are like oh i need a crit here yes a crit here would have really helped me win this match but i'm like i don't want it <laughs> so uh yeah i didn't get it and i was like i said relieved but, um, so now I'm going to die to Toxic, and he's, as I said, just lost just a little bit of HP, but that's fine. I'm going to go to my Shaman. I figure he can't really do all that much damage to me. His Psychic's only going to do, at max, like 40.8%. So, uh, I'm going to hit him with Seed Flare. Hopefully, uh, he'll recover, because that Seed Flare's going to do way more than he can recover. It's going to do about 68% max, I think. But I get a crit here, and I'm like, ugh, fuck. And, uh... 
yeah, so this is actually going to cause the match to be over because the Terrakion is adamant. So uh, I'm able to easily outspeed and take it out with a stab, super effective seed flare. And all he's got left is his um, Tangrowth. And I can kill that with my hidden power, more or less. He can't really do too much to me. Um, and he's just going to run. So it, it really did change it. We uh, were talking after and uh, we discussed various scenarios. Um, but all in all, it would have been really weird because like he does a he does have sleep powder so it would have depended on what he put to sleep um and like if my jellicent could get off a toxic and uh, recover stall his giga drain because that would only do about 40 percent too so it 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 just again it, it would have been pretty hard to tell based on that but um yeah all in all it was a pretty good game uh some nice predictions on both our sides and i hope you guys enjoyed it and uh i'll see you the next time i see you Peace out.